I'm Jesse from TrueLine Visuals. Today I'm going to be going over a few things about the all new Atomos Shinobi Mark II. So I've been using the old version for years now and when they announced a new one I was super stoked and excited to get it especially because of the all new camera control feature it had. Essentially this allows you to control all the important camera settings and your record button straight from the monitor. Or does it? But before I get into that, let me talk a little bit about what's new with this thing. So the new monitor comes in at $349 American, which for me is nearly $500. And I did pay for it myself. Um, this is not sponsored by Atomos at all. As you can see, it's quite a bit slimmer than the old version. Uh, it's a 5.2 inch monitor, same as the old one. But this one, they've added the ports to the back of the monitor rather than on the side, which I thought was actually really cool because it comes out the back, makes it look cleaner. You don't have cords coming out the side at all. They've also moved the power button on the old version. It was at the back and on the new version, it is on the side. The screen is 50% brighter than the old version coming in at 1500 nits. So it should be a lot easier to see in the daylight. It's got all the features you'd expect from a monitor like false color, LUT capabilities, waveform, zebras, histogram, all the goodies. However, I did notice that the touch screen seems to respond a lot better than the old one. On the old one, I'm always like tapping quite hard to press the buttons, but the new one uh, seemed to respond a lot better. So it's brighter, it's thinner, the touch screen seems to respond better, the interface is new, but what about this camera control feature? How does that work? Apparently, all you need to do is plug it into the back of the monitor and then plug it into your camera. And then you should be able to press record, adjust the white balance, adjust the exposure, all the important things you'll need on a shoot. So I did that and nothing happened. Um, none of those settings came up for me. I tried troubleshooting it online. I scoured the Atomos website. I just couldn't find any information, so I emailed the support and they got back to me the very next day, but with some disappointing news. They said, please be informed that none of the Canon C-Series cameras are supported for camera control with the Shinobi. This includes the C70, C200, C300, C400, 500, and all other models that have a C in front of them. That's right. The only reason I upgraded my monitor was to control my camera. And it turns out it's not even compatible. From what I've seen, it seems to work great with the Sony cameras, FX3, FX30, uh, probably the Canon R5C, maybe. I don't know, it has a C in the name, I'm not sure. But yeah, most other mirrorless cameras, I'm sure it works great for, it's just not for me. I don't have much of a reason to upgrade from the old one uh, if I can't control the camera. The only thing I would be getting is a slimmer build. Um, other than that, it feels pretty much the same to me. So I'll probably be returning it, unfortunately. I was very excited, but unless I switch to Sony, I guess I can't use it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and ask any questions down below if you want or not, whatever. <laughs>